when students are studying ear training, a lot of times they go through the chords and they're trying to hear every quality. And when you get to the minor seventh chord, there's a lot of struggle. There's a lot of challenges hearing that. And I wonder why students have that struggle. So let's listen to it. Let's listen to the minor seventh chord. We'll take a, how about a G minor seven? G, B flat, D, F. All right. You just heard it right then. Um, what I like to do, and what I say in my other videos, you take your seventh chord and you, you play it around in inversions. And there's, you're looking for that similar quality that retains throughout. So here's first inversion. We put the G on top. What is that? That is a major chord. That is a major with a sixth. Do it again. Still major. To me, very major-ish. So my trick, what I tell my students, what I would tell you, forget about the fact that it's called minor. It is a major chord with a six in there. So when you're listening and you hear, you hear that chord, you're hearing the major sound. You look looking for minor, but you're hearing major. You gotta tell yourself, hey, it's a softened major. I think students think it's going to be a more minor, a more minor sound than just a minor chord. And actually it's it's a less minor sound. Right? A true minor chord sounds minor, and less ambiguous. You add the seventh and you get that major quality. All that matters is the bass note. So um, that's my tip for this. Forget that it's called minor. Think it's a, if anything, a softened minor and you get that major quality. And that's why it's such a powerful, great chord that it can be a tonic, but it can also be a transition chord and it can be also an extension on anything. Love minor sevenths. So that's the tip for today. Thanks for watching. Subscribe below and uh, look for you next time. Thanks.